Okay, YouTubers, and welcome to the first weekend of August. And I don't know if you can see where I'm at. I'm right along a road here. Car's gonna go by here in a minute. Okay. I'm over uh, in Centralia again. Yes, I cannot get away from Centralia. A lot of people um, do a lot of videos up here, and I think they're gonna continue videoing up here as long as there's history and stuff going on up here. But I gotta traverse this. So let me get across this first and I'll get back to you. I made it across that. Yeah, it's had a significant amount of rain this weekend. And while I'm up here, uh, as you can see, garbage. Um, up by a colliery in Centralia, down by where the steam vents were. I don't know if you remember when I did some of my YouTube videos up here in Centralia, we went to those steam vents. Uh, they're across the street over there. And oh, this is a mess. Look at this. Oh, look at that squishy mud. My wife's not going to love me for this. But uh, there was a colliery up here called the North Ashland Colliery. And let me turn you around and show you what I'm looking at here. Going up this road. Now, I have to show you an old map from like the 1880s, late 1880s that sort of uh, showed what was all here as far as collieries were. And what caught my attention up here was a book I got. I'll post that on the, up here and show you what I'm talking about. A book called Images of America, and this, um, more mud, wow, mud, 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 and this, um, hopefully I'm going the right direction, yeah, follow the trail of garbage, that's a shame they do this, um, In this book, <clears throat> if you see, uh, uh, I might put a picture of that book up. The very front cover shows an inclined plane. And this inclined plane is right around in here somewhere. I think I'm up at the top, not by the head house, but close. Because that's a level spot right there. You'd see it, the trail. Now, this road goes up here. I want to see where this goes because uh let me turn you around um there's a huge rock up here now jp videos a bunch of other people have been up here did some videos of this rock but in this book it showed that rock and right up the hill from it looked like well it is a head house in the picture and i thought oh there's an inclined plane up here somewhere so that's what I'm trying to find. I guess it would be called the Centralia Incline Plain, part of the North Ashley Colliery. Whew, climbing up this hill. You see where I just came from. And it's humid out. Yeah, it's like close to 80 degrees out. We're supposed to get a thunderstorm, but I think I'm up above where I'm supposed to be. Look at all this garbage. Holy Hannibal. I think that plane is over here. Now that road that I saw is right over there. And you can hear the cars over there. Well, yeah, cobwebs. Let's see. And here's some, I thought this might have been cement, but it's actually uh, rock. I don't see anything here. For our structure but we'll, we'll follow this road a little bit it's not a road well dirt road see where this comes out at walking along this road here and i came upon 
this clearing I'm looking down. I think I'm supposed to be down there, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I'm looking for this real huge rock. I mean, it's massive. It's about as big as a house. Uh, let's just keep trekking up this way and let's see what we get. I just come over and went, ah, nice level spot up here. Hmm. The road does continue this way. But the, the one I was looking at, I'll put another picture of this up. Um, you can see the rock I'm talking about is up in the very far right of this picture. And you see the one with the boy walking on the road below that. So I must be up above where I'm supposed to be. Now, there's a big rock over there. I don't know if that's what I'm looking for. But we're still going up this hillside. Uh, yeah. We'll just keep going. I've never seen this area before. So this is all new to me. Yeah, right over there. That's not the rock I'm looking for over there. The one I'm looking for has got to be easy, ten times the size of that. And what's that way over there? You see that? <sighs> Let's get over to it. Down, I saw this. I thought it was like a structure, but it's just uh, an outcrop of rock. But yeah, it looked darker than that rock up there. But I came down on this. Oh, here's something. Maybe this is the rock I'm looking for. I think it is. Yeah, this is the one I first saw. I look up ahead. All right, let's get up to it. Not so much as a rock as it is a dirt bank. Same with that up there. But this is like a little road I came down on. Right. I think there's another road. Look at this. There's another road down there. But this looks interesting up here. I think this might be part of the plane I'm looking for. Yes, yes. Well, I can't tell for sure. Just looks like it dead ends here. And if this is the plane, I am not walking through that. No way. But yeah, you got waste rock here. So that's telling you. Ah. Nice chunk of coal. Another bigger piece here. Yeah, let's take, take a look down this, see what we got. Uh, ooh, that drops off. Yeah, there's like another level down that way. It's hard to see through the trees, I know. But, all right, let me backtrack a little bit. Get back to you. chunks of coal to where I thought I saw that little structure there's the what I call the little rock right up there let's just take a little shortcut down here and see what we have down here okay I just came down to see what's here there's the road I parked on my car must be up that way more and I came down from up there, I was looking, there's that dirt bank, and we were looking down, and there's like another road here I found. So I came down to it just to see what could be here. And I think that's the road I really want to be on down there. Holy Hannibal, roads, roads, roads. Is this just dead ends right here? I mean, there's a little gully over that way, but I'm looking for something that was pulling the rail cars up the hill. I guess we're gonna have to get down there. All right, let's backtrack one more time.
Now the road turns, and I just realized this isn't the paved road. I thought it was at first. I don't know what road this is. Ah, I see cement. Clues. Whoa. And treacherous walking. Yeah, I don't know where this goes. Did I walk up this? No. I must have passed it up there and kept going up the hill. I just came down from that way. So I must have made a wrong turn. So this must be what I'm looking for because right here, get up to it. Oh yeah. Oh, what is this? This is interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's a candle laying there, I hope. And the rainmaker, John Grisham. Oh, I don't know what either. A frog just jumped and scared the living daylights out of me. I do not know what this could be for. I thought it was part of the plane. It's supposed to be here. Huh, no idea. Well, I think I'm on the right path here. Uh, cause that'll take you down to the plane. Let me just walk around up top here, see if I can find anything that was uh, for the steam engine that had to be up here to pull cars up. So this is definitely a plane here. All right, uh, I don't know where to go first. Let's go this way. Quick, here's another. Now this looks more what I'm looking for. There's like, might have had a hoist on it. Right here is a nice size bolt. As you can see, it's a little bigger than my thumb. You know, watch for snakes around here. Yeah. And let's see if we can peek over the hill here. Yeah, see, there's like another level way down there. I'm gonna try to find that rock. I'll bet you this is where the hoist house was. Yeah, there's something massive right there. Some kind of a bolt. There's a piece of metal with some holes in it. Hmm. Not too much here, but this is definitely a clue to what this is. Let me get down here and get better. Yeah, you can see what I was standing on there. And I don't know if this was the actual railroad bed, but that looks like it was a pit. Let me keep you focused in on this. Let's see where this is. I don't see any more bits or pieces of anything. Ugh. Found the vine. Yeah, it just comes up now. They did strip mine in, in this area, I guess back in the 60s. So some of this could be all ripped up. And see, like, I think maybe, let's go over here. This is part of that, this has to be the, see right in there. It just keeps continuing, but you have this ridge here. And down there somewhere, I think that's it, is that big, big rock I'm looking for. So, I'm on the right path. There's another little level down there. Ooh, that looks like it just drops right off the edge there. It's hard to see on the camera. We're right at the end of them ferns there. Looks like it drops a good, ooh, 20 feet. And there's a chunk. It looks like cement. Yeah, I think we're on the right path here. Ah, coined the phrase. So yeah, this is the top up here. That's looking south. Well, let's head north. See where this goes. But yeah, the rock formations here are pretty neat. Almost look like like they're block. But yeah, definitely was something here. I don't see any timbers, railroad track. And so I'm a little pressed for time because it's supposed to thunderstorm today. And I don't want to be stuck in the woods here. Yeah. In this thunderstorm. That would not be fun. Uh, I'll drag it on a little bit longer. We're still following this overgrown, looks like an old railroad bed. Now I think it was a double 
temporary bed. So this might have been part of it too that I'm walking on. Which is better than walking in there, I'll tell you. Yeah, we're getting close to the road. So yeah, this was definitely now they would have had uh probably steam engines. Oh, someone lost part of their looks like the intake for a Jeep. Now I'm still falling. Yeah, we're getting up to the mud. I think I just walked a complete circle, but that's the top up there. Now what I want to do is try to get down to the bottom and see if we can walk up that. But I'm gonna get down this level down here. And see what's there. When I get down there, I'll get back to you. Still following this trail here. And it comes up, as you can see, it's merging in. And it looks like it continued that way. But, ugh. Oh, it does go this way. Well, here's garbage. Oh, my God. Look at this. This is why they frown. And there's the, okay, that's that trail I went up first. So that's where I went. I saw this garbage pile, but oh my God. So right here is the plane itself. Let's see if I can get down. Yeah, this would have been the trail I should have taken the first time. Wow, well, looks like they bulldozed that shut to try to keep people from getting to it. You see. Yeah, another rock bank right here. And my car's down in there somewhere. All right. Keep walking, yeah, here's the road I was on. Tires, didn't see a TV yet. A baby stroller, more tires, PVC pipe, lots of four-wheeler tracks. Yep, we're in the mines. Out from that, and right over in there, goes that way, it's further by. Look right where that car is. That's where uh, the steam vents are across the road. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I think I'm gonna take a trip down that way. Save some time up here. Well, at least we found the head and a little bit of the hoist house. There's not too much of it, a little bit of a small one. Uh, now let me get down a little ways. Uh, I'm gonna go to that rock, walk around in there a little bit. Tubers, just so you know where I'm at, right up there is this road that comes down from where we were up at the, the vents and all that garbage is up there. So that's the road that comes out right up around that turn there. And I came down, I thought this was a little road, but it's it'll work. Uh, that rock is up there. I don't know if you could see it through the trees. See it right there? Let's get up to that because that's portrayed in one of these photos I have. Yeah. Oh, it's nice and cool down here in the shade. Somewhat of a path here. Now we're below that point I was telling you about with the the plane up top. So we're gonna walk around here a little bit because there's some caves here I just want to poke in at. I might uh look in. I'm by myself though, so I'm not gonna really climb in anything too far there's a path right there and I think up there if you see that wall like structure it's actually a rock I think that's the top of the plane we we're at but yeah if you come here there's some neat little crevices and some rock formations around here Let's get up this path here. <coughs> Ooh. Oh wow. Ooh. Yeah, it slipped. Now this is all ash. It is. That's ash. So that's telling me up here somewhere was a steam engine or a boiler house. Wow, look at this rock. Whew. Video does not do it justice when you're looking at it now you can see i parked the green machine back there wow massive massive 
overhang. And there is a little cave. Oh wow. Let's see if we... Ah, it just goes under the rock. But it's weird how this is just sitting on top of the dirt like it was placed here. You can see all this ash here. Whew. Yeah, it's just a little overhang of a rock. But yeah, it's a good 20 feet tall. Let's just walk around real quick. Yeah, this is all ash I'm walking on. Like a gravelly ash. Oh, that's interesting down in there. That is weird how this rock is. Let me turn my light on, see if we can see anything in there. There it goes down. I'm gonna take the camera off my tripod. See if I can stick it in there for you. You could probably climb in there, but that's all hollow underneath of this rock. That is so weird. A big massive rock like this. Practically just sitting. As you can see. Sitting on top of the dirt here. That is impressive, that rock there. But when I'm looking at here, we were up on top of that. Up there would have been the head house somewhere. Let's go along this way. I want to try to get a picture. The hardest point about, excuse me, the hardest part about doing photography like this is trying to stand in the exact same spot as the original photographer did. And, oh wow, look at that. This is cool. Yeah, you tell people it's in here. There's like a, yeah, that looks like that would have been where the head house was up there. But very neat rocks around here. Look at that one. That one's just barely hanging on. Well. It did fall, probably from way up there at some point. Is this a cave going in? Oh yeah, look at that. Goes in about three feet. That one goes in a little farther, but I'm gonna have to come back with somebody to explore these. So, yeah, yeah garbage. Look at a suitcase. I don't like finding suitcases. God knows what is in it. I don't know of anything, thank God, but ugh, I don't like finding suitcases. All right. And down there you can see that's the road. The main uh, big mine one road. Uh, let me just get down here at this one level spot. Yeah, that. Rock is way, well it's not this rock, it's behind it, way over there. But yeah, there's more to this. Now is that cement or is that rock? That flat area right there. Wow. You gotta blaze your own trail up in, the, in, up in this part. New piece of coal. Got pushed out, I guess when the tree was growing. Another massive rock. Mostly this is all conglomerate, which was known to be mixed with some quartz. Ooh, that's interesting over there. See that? Yeah, but all along up here was the plane. The plane went, I think it's, the house might be a head, uh, engine house might be over here somewhere. No, keep looking. I want to check this out quick. Yeah, I definitely got to bring the gang uh, up here again. 
You know what I mean by the ganger? YouTube, no, just, it's not a cave. It looked like it from back there. Yeah, up there was the, up there was the plane we were on. I'm still right by the road, so we're not too far away from civilization. If something would happen, God forbid. But, oh my God. Rocks, rocks, rocks. I don't see much garbage down in this area. That's good. There's a neat tree root. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Nice tree roots look pretty cool. When you come up, it looks like something else. Now, we're here for the Centralia Plain, not for tree roots. Uh, maybe I'll just go up. Hey, hey, hey. That's scary. Seeing a rock like that. And then there's one here. Yeah. Wow. That made a noise when it went. All kinds of caves, rocks. Some of them just balanced up top here. That one right there. Looks like it could be knocked down. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of a niche there, but nothing cavey. There's somewhat of a path here. Sorry if I'm dragging this out. But, oh, what's that over there? You see that square thing right there? I don't know. There's that tree root I was looking at earlier. Trying to keep you focused where I'm at in this frame to frame. And this is getting a little treacherous up here. Let's see what we got up here. Woo! Oh boy. Yeah. I think we're coming up to a uh, uh, nice little view, but yeah. yeah, it looks like the inclined plane coming down now. See that? It goes down. Wow, I didn't think I walked this far. Oh, there's something down there. Yee, don't fall. Right along the road here. Now, I'm sure in the fall and the winter time, this, uh, ooh, I'm sweating. I'm sure this gets uh, more opened up. Now you can see more. Yeah, look at that rock. I bet you there's a cave down there. You wanna bet? You wanna go have a look? No, oh, raise your hand. I think the only way down. Ooh, there's a hole there. It's through this way. Let's see what's around the corner here. Eh, look down. Oh, I shouldn't do this. There might be snakes hiding in here. Step wisely. So you got mosquitoes. Oh, I hope this isn't a false bottom here. Wow. And it's like the other side of the road. Oh yeah, that goes down. Let me get a light on. That goes in. Pretty good. Oh wow, that does. Well, I see a lot of time. Let me get this off the tripod. That's not working. Hold the tripod. There we go. Yeah. Look at the cobwebs there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that does. Oh, come on. See what I mean? It's kind of hard. I want to focus in. There we go. It does continue down that way. If I had a friend with, I would sneak in there. And it looks like it goes off to the right there a little bit. Am I seeing things? I should have brought a better light. I'm just using the... Yeah, that guy's go down. Not too there. Let's look around more. I had to take the tripod off to see. Did it come out down here? And this is weird. This is all like washed out. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's not there. It's only up here. Past this. 
can't see. I know. Supposed to be looking for mines, not caves. Yeah, see that goes in. And it goes back. And it just goes out here. To the side. But that's interesting. That's worth looking. It keeps like going in. But but you get down here. Ooh. And reorient. Yeah, see it's not that's where you would probably come out of it. Yeah, it was up top looking down on this. But lots and lots of neat things to look at. Overhangs. Looks like cold dirt down there. Let's take a look. Let's take one little peek up here quick. Another rock balance. Oh, yeah. That just comes down to the plane. Yeah. Get up. So standing up there looking over here. Oh, let me get oriented. Yeah, when I use the light on my phone, I have to turn the steady feature off. Well, let me walk down here a little bit. And I don't know how far down I am from my car. But oh, there's some more caves over there. Holy Annabelle. Wow. I gotta see this. <laughs> I'm here, might as well look at it. But I think we're coming up to the plane itself. Yeah, it goes back. I can't fit in that hole. I might get my foot in there, that's about it. It's all along here. Oh, and you got some mushrooms. That's a picture of the mushrooms. And I want to know if these are poisonous or not. If any of you know your mushrooms. Ooh, I need a break. It's nice and cool. Alright, All right, let me get down to the road here. Yeah, show you a little bit what's yeah, let's get another look back here. Wow. I just came down from up there. What a mess. And trying to figure out how to get to the road over there. And I got a ditch to encounter here. Oh, jeez. Wow, I'm glad you got my exercise. Another piece of coal. Yeah, let's take a drink. Oh, I just banged my leg on a rock. Ooh, did that, that stink. But yeah, this must be for the the road here for drainage. All right, made it. Let's see. Huh. How far down am I? Well, I don't see the green machine up there, and you can see where that car is. I think down there, that's the bottom of the plane I want to get to. There's a neat picture I want to try to do uh, a now and then video, or video, picture. But, yeah, all along here, up in there, where I had at the, uh, oh, I got to take a break. I just came down from up there. What a mess. And trying to figure out how to get to the road over there. And I got a ditch to encounter here. Oh, jeez. Wow, I'm glad you got my exercise. Another piece of coal. Yeah. Let's take a drink. Oh, I just banged my leg on a rock. Ooh, did that stink. But yeah. This must be for the, the road here. For drainage. Alright, made it. Let's see. Huh. How far down am I? Well, I don't see the green machine up there. And you can see where that car is. I think down there, that's the bottom of the plane I want to get to. 
there's a neat picture I want to try to do uh, a now and then video or video picture but oh you think I'm getting a workout Eesh, look at me I'm sweating I'm all full of dirt cobwebs yeah over in there I think that was oh I have to look it up there was a colliery over there I don't think it was the bass collar that was behind me looking back that way but you can see there's somewhat of a road clearing I'll we'll have to do that at another time right now I'm focusing on this area yeah, up in here this is where that plane is now, just walking up in there oh and my car is around the bend here somewhere Wow well I'm mean, getting the air conditioning a little bit, get down to the bottom and see what we can see down there. I got a four wheeler coming up. Yeah. But yeah, all in here, I think there was a colliery in here. I have to double check the map I have. And yeah, right here's the green machine up here. Refrigerator parts. Where's that big rock at? It's up in there somewhere. All right. Yeah, I just noticed the telephone pole here along this pile. Something tells me now I'm on the opposite side of the road from where I was. And something tells me there was something here. And yes, I think, I mean, I gotta see it, I gotta see it. Is that what I think it is? Oh uh, no, I thought there was a piece of railroad track sticking up. Pulse along. But still, like these rocks just continue up this way. Whew. And if I'm not mistaken, when I was here with the YouTuber meetup back in, was that May? With Adam Tereska hosting it, uh, me and Mr. G, we're walking along the top of this and we did find uh, rev uh, evidence of a slope mine but for now we're just going to focus on the plane up here yeah we're gonna have to go through some jungle type wood here but this should be well, it's not quite the bottom because we're on a hill yet. But you see the ocean cement? No, it's just rock. But yeah, you see it's all... Let's just go up a little bit here. This is part of the plane going up the hill here. I'm not at the foot. I think that's down a little farther. So let's see if we can get a view looking up. Well, not really. And I don't see any timbers or real ties. Let's just get it past this little brush here. I don't want to get too far. Whoo! Not a very steep hill. Yeah. It continues. Whoo! It just keeps getting thicker and thicker. But let's go back down. And Let's get to the foot. That didn't really lead anywhere. I went in there. But the plane, you can see the pathway it's taken. It's going down that way. So let's go down a little farther. I made it down to this clearing I know of. It's not too far down from it. I think where I was earlier was the foot. Because where I'm at now would have been where the colliery sat. Pretty sure this was the bass college. Nice big field. If I could probably fly the drone around here, maybe I'll do that a little bit. All right. but for now, I just want to take a. Well, we do have some cinder block here. Let's see what we got in this field. Might be better. Uh, there's some hole over there. 
And there's some building material. I don't know if this was dumped off or it was original. From the, there's some tar. Might have been, I don't know. This might have been dumped off here for all I know, along with everything else. But the road, yeah, let's go up this way. This would have been the, the plane. I see it's level here. And it should start going up a hill. And that would be the foot. And let's go up here always. I just came upon this. Looks like a utility pole. And there's bolts. There's an old oil can. We might be close. So this should be where the foot was. It's over there. Would have been where the colliery actually was. Yeah, I'll have to get the drone up and see what's around that area. Nice flat area. Keep your eyes peeled for any evidence. I don't see any anything now. When we start going up the hill, that's where the foot would have began. Let's see. Just taking a browse through here. It's not a bad road. It's walkable. I don't know about riding through it though. Mark your face off these leaves. Now keep your rolling just to see what's up ahead. Ah, oh, see this is where I was. So right up here, this would have been the foot right here because when I get up here, I see something crash it through here with something. When I get up here, it should start going up the hill. And what I'm looking for would be a stone wall. There she get over this way more. This might have been the actual plane itself. And there's that rock I saw. Ah! Came close. This, to me, wow, that tree fell. Yeah. There's that rock. I thought it was cement before we looked it up. So it's gotta be. Right around here has to be where the foot is. It's just been so long ago. I'll turn you around here, sir. So oh, I'm looking around here. I don't see the wall. There's a picture of this place. I want to see if there's a little piece of the wall, the Blarney Pit, which is shown in this picture. I'll post that up. Uh, I'll try to take a picture around this area here. See if that anything looks relevant. To the original picture. I did find this piece of cement. I don't know what this would be for drainage. It looks pretty modern. It don't look like it's for a... Yeah, see that? I don't know if I should be standing on this. That's not good. I have no idea what this was. For drainage, for the mines. Ooh, this tree is not too good to stand on. Huh. I don't think this was part of the plan. But see, now they could have put some kind of piping in here or something and obliterated everything that was evidence. Uh, yeah. Just laying right in here. I don't know what this was. Now, it looks like there's a door over here that opens. I'm not going to try to open that. I can't get my hands in it or nothing. Interesting, but I think over there used to be a stone wall, but looks like dirt fell down. Uh, I'm gonna try to get out over here, get back on the road. Don't know. I'm trying to stay along this embankment here because somewhere down here there's some stone that looks straight ahead there. To me, that looks like 
the plane continued this way, I don't know. I can't tell. Now here's the timber right here. That's the first one I found. So I might be on the actual bed itself here. Ah, is this scrap metal? Yeah, it's just stuck in the... Ooh, nettles. Those things sting. If you ever touch these things. Ooh, I just did. It itches like crazy. It feels like a bunch of wire brushes. This is all nettles in here. I better not go near this. It's okay if you have pants on. Boy, when you get it, I got it right in here. See all the bumps? I got a little bit on my hand there. Oh, does that burn? Yeah, it's all this right here. It's called nettles. Now, if you want to experience, see they're like a fuzzy, I'm getting close here. They're like a fuzzy leaf. And when you touch that, oh, those hairs, they're little tiny microscopic hairs. And when they get in your skin, wow, do they burn. I'm up here on top of this pile. Yeah, all in there. That's a whole patch of nettles over there. They're not fun to walk through. Ooh, because I felt it, and I was like, oops, I know what that is. Well, I'm not seeing anything else here. Uh, let's just go out this way a little bit. There's tires. Funny I haven't found a TV. It's hard to say what was here a hundred years ago. Yeah, it's all the flat. I'm getting into the colliery section over there. Sorry for winging the camera left and right. I'm just doing a browse around. Trying to see if there is any evidence of this left. Well, not having much luck here. All right, if I find anything, I'll get back to you. There's some more timbers. So this had to have been, ooh, I smell them metals too. They give off a funky smell. It's hard to describe. It smells like, sort of like rotten cabbage. But I don't know if you can see, going along here, that's the, I'm sure that's the plane. But where the foot is, and another timber I'm standing on right here, where the foot would be exactly, yeah. Up in there somewhere. But it's funny there's no stone wall along this side here. Now, of course, everything is that's ruined. Well, I found the washing machine. That's an appliance. I'll count it. <laughs> but yeah, let me just go over here a minute. The road's right over here. Wow. Now these uh, plants that are around here, they're almost like bamboo. Trying to walk through that, or get it. All right, let's go back to the car. And here are my final thoughts there. Okay, now I was up that area, you see how grown in this is. I came over here just to see if there was anything. I think this is just all reclaimed. Uh, I thought this was something. That's just OSB wood formed into that shape that was nothing but yeah now this still goes downhill now i go down a little farther yet i was thinking of flying the drone here just to see if there's anything around hey i'll do that quick uh i know there's uh some cement let me turn you around okay i know there's some cement down the hill here a ways but I think I'm gonna bring the drone out and just see have a little look around I'll take a little pictures while I have it up in the air that my drone's not that great for taking video I tried did my best it does take video but I've seen drones do a lot better than mine but it is good for taking pictures so let me take it up and snap a few pictures uh, I'll get back to you on up right now let's go down to the bottom and I'll finish up down there.
All right, I just came down. What's that behind me? Let's take a look. Looks like some kind of a bridge. Now there is a bridge here for a creek. Now it's not really a creek. This is coming out of one of the collieries up the mountain. Yeah, beautiful orange water. So that's mine drainage, that's not a creek. I think they, they do call that big mine run, but up the road here, you'll see there's a, a collery when I do that video and when I post the map up. But if you look up this road, let me zoom in a little bit. You see how that starts going up the hill right there? That's where I think the plane starts and that's where I was taking pictures of the drone footage and where I got into them nettles. I came down here because I knew about this cement thing here. Just wanted to see if there was anything else down this way. Uh, I do have a comb bank here, or a waste rock bank. And then over here is a whole bunch. Yeah, up there's that other colliery. I have to look on the map what that was. Uh, I think over here might be something of interest. Might not be, because if there's that cement that I saw, I was thinking maybe this is where the, the foot was, but I don't see another part of that cement anywhere. But now it just goes see there's just all shale banks here. And then a oh, lovely orange water. You know, I don't smell any sulfur, but uh, I wouldn't want to drink that. Alright, well. YouTubers, I think that's gonna do it for today. I've been up here a good two hours, scouting around the woods, getting nettles on my arm. Now the pain went away, but boy, when you brush up against the boy, does that sting. But uh, not too much left here. Some coal, some ash, some rock, a little bit of cement. I didn't find any evidence of the Centralia Plain, other than the hill and the path it went up. A uh, couple timbers, no track, no pieces of metal, but I drew out that book though. But yeah, if you got a chance, get one of them books. Uh, I'll, I'll show you, I'll post it up here. I can't remember the author's name. I'm terrible at that, remembering things. It's like going back to high school, trying to remember things for a test. But, anywho, uh, so this was the North Ashland Colliery, and where the the plane was in in uh centralia and until my next adventure please like please share please subscribe to my channel um i'm getting up there that i almost have a, a thousand subscribers now one of my viewers just told me he commented on one of my videos and he noticed his comments weren't appearing and i wrote back to him I was like yeah some comments i try to um comment back on your comment and it's like the comment disappears like what i'm not allowed i can't comment i can't give you a thumbs up i can't even give you a heart so i don't know what the story is the only thing i know is if you don't watch enough of a certain channel on youtube they'll take your subscription away and i don't think that's right because some of my youtuber videos or youtuber viewers do not have content in their channel but i still want to give them recognition on youtube for subscribing to my channel that way well I try to subscribe to their channel that way it's like saying thank you and there's something I can do to help your channel out but anywho all right I gotta get home I'm hungry it's in the afternoon it's gonna thunderstorm soon I don't want to be out here for that so I, pretty busy road here for just being a, a back mine road or the back way up to Centralia but all right, until I get to my next spot that I'm trying to figure out where to go to, I don't know who I'm going to be with, I don't know where I'm going to be going. It's all random to me. It's like if something comes into my head, hey, let's go to it, check it out, ba -ba 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 -ba, and post it up on the videos. That's how I do it. I don't have really any plans of what to do when, but hopefully in the future, I'll get more organized, I'll get more subscriptions, I'll get more advanced in YouTube, and it's all because of you guys, and I thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.